my channel. I'm Tori Lynn. Let's blossom today. Today we're going to be trying a bunch of Valentine's snacks and candies. I've got my Valentine with me. This is my husband Dalton. And I went to the store and bought a bunch of Valentine's candies and snacks and all those good things. And I even have some that I had to bake. Let's go ahead and jump into the bag. I have them in a Target bag, although I didn't do any shopping at Target this time because I didn't leave town. So, he has no idea what I bought. I didn't take them to the store with me, so I think most of these, except for the big <coughs> goods, which are Toll House cookies, I think everything else is a surprise. The only reason the cookies aren't a surprise is because he broke into them and started snacking on them beforehand. Do you want to start with those since we've already actually both eaten them? Yeah. Okay. We'll start with the one that we already both have eaten. I ate both the cookie dough and the oh, baked two. cookies. No. Oh, yeah. I ate them as a cookie dough before I baked them and as cookies. So these are the, I threw away the package. I was going to keep the package, but I uh, threw it away yesterday actually. And then this morning was like, oh, do the package away. So these are the Toll House chocolate chip Valentine cookies. They are way smaller than I was expecting them to be. It's been a long time since I made the Toll House cookies. They're the ones that come on like the cardboard sheet and they're just the little squares that you break apart. And as far as I could tell, you just like the squares on the sheet and baked them. And they literally came out like little teeny tiny cookies. Is that normal? Yeah. Like when I make those, or I haven't made them in a long time, but I always did like, like I didn't, I ignored the squares, you know, just made my mm -hmm. own. Well, I didn't round them or anything. I literally just laid the squares down. The only ones that came out a little bit more normal cookie sized were ones that were one and a half squares because one whole row broke off like in half. So some of those I ate half the cookie dough, like the half pieces and some of them I didn't. But they're just regular chocolate, chocolate chip. Yeah, the regular chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> and then they have little really cute um, heart shaped sprinkles on top. Yep. It's the only thing that differentiates them from regular <coughs> chocolate chip cookies. I'll give you a little close up here, a little Valentine's, but I just was a little disappointed on how teeny tiny they are. Uh, go ahead. You can see the squares on the top. Yeah. The one. <laughs> like they started to melt, but they didn't. Yeah, they didn't. Now grab one and try one. kind of like it though. It's pretty generic. Yeah, I don't feel like the hearts really add anything except for maybe a little extra crunch to it. The sprinkle crunch. Yeah. I think I'd rather just have a normal chocolate chip cookie. They're just the regular Toll House. Like, honestly, the cookie dough was better. It but usually is. I love cookie dough, so I can't, <laughs> I can't complain. Did you make those just for this? Yeah. You made a lot of cookies. I mean, I made the whole tray. I thought you made them for something else. No, I made the whole tray and then I figured I would take the rest to either Melanie's on Saturday or to Bunko on Friday or something. Hmm. I mean, I like them. I think they're good. I mean, They've had worse cookies, so. Well, rate them. Sure. On a scale of. Well, I mean, like. One to ten hearts. Ten, one being the worst heart, ten being the best. Oh, like ten hearts. Yeah. Hearts. It's Valentine's. Right. One being the worst, ten being the best. Um. A four. Wow, not bad. I was going to rate like a six. Okay, five. A little better than is average. Five, like, you like it? Yeah, five is like it's a good cookie. It's an average cookie. Then it's a five. I was gonna say, I rate it a six just because I like Toll House. It's better than like the Pillsbury, like the ones that have the Think hearts about in the all middle. the desserts that are better than that, and you have to fit all those in between five and ten. I say like a Subway cookie is like a ten, like a number ten oh, cookie. Are we rating it by cookie? Yeah. I don't and know. That's too many. like a three. Oh. It got three. worse. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's just a normal I cookie. rate it a six, so. Not the worst cookie, not the best cookie, but I feel like it's a little better than just an average cookie. No. No? Okay. Definitely feel like I've had way worse cookies, so. I mean, it's soft. That's always good. Right. It's not like, you know those crunchy cookies? But like the one my grandma made? Also taste bad? <laughs> my grandma sent us home some cookies for Christmas. Oh, they yeah, were we a little bit. 
No, we had a few. I had a bite of one, one or two bites, and I was there with a whole bag of Yeah, we're they were dieting, a little bit. so we don't have any junk food, so right. it did something. I threw them away because I was like, I'm going to eat these, and we don't need them. But they were just really hard. So, all right, this next one's I'm pretty sure you're going to like. These are sweet and sour mashup hearts from a trolley. Most of the candy I got was either from Walmart or the Dollar Tree. So, I think I got these at Walmart, though. But they say mashup, so it looks like they have like the peachio kind of style ring hearts around the outside and then a little heart that goes on the inside. You like sour candy, so I'm guessing you'll yeah. probably like these. And Charlie probably, is usually cheap. Yeah. So I first thought I got these at um, Dollar Tree, but I I think I got these at Walmart. So they're actually bigger size than I was expecting them to be. But there's not very many in this bag, so maybe I did get them at the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. Like, there's very few in this bag. Uh-oh. I need scissors. Or you. Really? Yeah, I couldn't get that open. I loosened it for you. Okay. What flavor are you want? I feel like I want a red and orange one. I don't really know. I don't want a blue and green one. Okay, but... but that is not a heart. What is wrong with your shape? Yeah, you're a little smushed. It's a D. Well, but then I feel like we've got to mix them out. So you get an it's orange and red one to go in your center. It's a D. Oh, a D for Dalton. Mm -hmm. You get orange and red one or a red one. Oh, wait. The centers are not mixed. They're just solid. So you can have a a blue, a green, an orange, or a red center. Let me a red center. Okay. Um, What are the flavors? Does it tell us? Green is definitely apple. Is it? Mm -hmm. So blue is probably blue raspberry. It doesn't say what the flavors are, which is a little bit sad. Okay, I'm just going to eat it. Start with the orange. Ooh, it's blue raspberry. Oh, I bit my lip. I think the orange is just orange. The red one's my favorite so far. What's the orange? Red cherry. I like the red was the most sour so far. At least Probably why I like it. Have. Definitely better than the cookies. Really? Yeah. But you're a chocolate person. I like the cookies way better. So, so far, the red and the orange, the red was more sour. Yeah, the red was the most sour. What was your favorite flavor? The red. Mm, the green was sour. Yeah. Right. I like the red. Uh, Just red center. See, like, that's like bad gummy candy but it's better than anything chocolate for me yeah he's a fruity person and i'm a chocolate person so that's a six you rate that a six mm, i'd rate it like but a i feel like if i rate these a six then the cookies are like a two or a three for me quit writing the cookies move down from the okay, cookies just you're saying. just writing these based on their own, their own how you feel about these six I feel like I'd rate them like a four, but that's just because I'm not a, I'm not really a sour person and I'm not really a fruity gummy person, unless I'm desperate. <laughs> I mean, those are, those are bad gummies. They're not bad. They're just not good. I mean, they're definitely good, better they're not gummies like sour than others. Patch Trolleys are just, like yeah, not Sour Patch Kids and they're not the good gummy bears. Like, I have a feeling these aren't going to be that great. I had about a whole bag of them, but I wanted to try them. These are quality candy sweets. These are Conversation Hearts Taffies. And so I was like, okay, Conversation Hearts Taffies. I want to try these. So they're in the flavors cherry, <coughs> strawberries and cream, and passion fruit. So uh, I like taffy, like the saltwater taffy when you go to the coast. I... It's not like the best candy, but I do like to eat it, so. But there's purple. What color? Oh, there's a lot of purple. So, so they're supposed to be cherry. Purple? Right. So I'm guessing what the purple is probably passion fruit. Strawberries and cream is probably the pink and white ones, and the red ones must be cherry. So I'm going to try it strawberries and cream. So they have little... Uh, what probably makes them um, the conversation hearts is that they have little words on them. So this one says, be true on the little packaging here. And they're just in the regular kind of like uh, wax paper. And they also have little hearts on them. His says, be mine. They also say, say yes. 
Tastes like normal You're coffee. You are cute. Hug me. Be mine. Kiss me. Love you. Or love ya. Mm. I don't really taste any strawberry. I mean, I guess it's you subtle. Eat? The strawberry one? Oh. Doing the same as you. Oh, okay. We're going to eat all three. Well, yeah. Okay. Saltwater um, coffee is very good. <clears throat> but you probably like the chocolate ones, huh? No. Good. I actually really like the caramel apple one. But caramel's in the same category as chocolate. Mm. Like, compared to fruit. Yeah, I guess. Um, There's some that I do really like, though. What's the purple one? I'm guessing passion fruit. Yeah, it's not very strawberry. It's just kind of a light flavor. Yeah. I mean, it's fruity, but it, I don't know. It's not super strong in the strawberry flavor. They're cute. They actually have more than one thing on them. You're, be mine, you're cute, and then sweet something. So this one says, kiss me and say yes. It goes in the same order, though. Mm -hmm. I don't like the flavor of this one at all. It tastes something. a little bit like butt berry. <laughs> a little you bit of butt berry. Know what butt berry tastes like. I don't like it. Like, I don't want fish eating this one. <laughs> it's not very good. Uh uh. I like the strawberries and cream. I feel like I have to keep chewing it. <laughs> I mean, compared to the strawberries and cream, that one's terrible. Yeah. And there's a lot of purple in there. There's like two purple, the one of every other one. Maybe it's just the way you poured it. I don't know. I'm not into passion fruit. I don't know what passion fruit really tastes like, but that hopefully ain't it. All right. Here goes cherry. Mm -hmm. mm. So that one's tough. good. And definitely cherry. And this tastes like a typical cherry. It tastes like a cherry starburst. Yeah. But with that. Well, it's a different texture. Salt water, mm -hmm. taffy flavor. Yeah, and that taffy texture. Mm -hmm. Throw out the passion fruit. Get rid of the passion fruit. The cherry so look, one? if I get rid of all these passion fruit. Give them all to someone you hate. There's not that many left. Like, the passion fruit is equal to the other two flavors. The yeah, cherry's the best one. I like the strawberries and cream, too. The cherry is like an eight. Mm -hmm. Strawberries and cream is like a... Six. Six or seven. And then that's zero. Yeah, this is like a, yeah. What we didn't do, it's not even on the list. It's negative. It's just, it's it was bad. bad. Throw it in the garbage. Yeah, nasty. Put oh. it back in the bag. Yeah, don't. This is actually kind of expensive bag, too. I feel like I just was the most expensive thing I bought. It was like four something for this bag. But it's a big bag. Overall, though, I'd rather eat those than that. Really? Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, if you get rid of the passion fruit. I need to clean up my mouth, though. They are gluten-free. Mm, I can give them to Josh. Yeah, certified gluten-free right on the package. These I'm not excited about, but I had to buy them because I had to buy them. These are Mickey and Minnie Marshmallow Suckers. And are they... Marshmallow Suckers? Oh, well, they're just Marshmallow Pops, you know. Mm. And aren't they pretty? They're cute. <laughs> Mickey is definitely better looking than Minnie, and I bought two because I had to get us a Mickey and a Minnie. So, they're just marshmallow pops, marshmallow suckers. I don't know how to get the wrapper off those, though. Yeah. I searched Mickey through all the Minis. Minnie and Minnie had, and she's Minnie been in the tanning bed. In the face and... She's been in the tanning bed too long. I searched through all the Minis to find a decent one. This was the best looking Minnie they had. They smell really good. Smells like straight up vanilla, but she looks like she's got a guinea pig turd in her mouth. <laughs> like that coloring looks like a turd. <laughs> it does look like a guinea pig turd. Right? It's slightly green brown like hay. It's poop. Yeah. It, but yeah, I had to buy two of these because I was like, oh! Do you want to go see it off of one though? Why? Because then you can... No. Uh, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Smells way better than it tastes. Mm -hmm. It smells like vanilla cake batter or something. Tastes like garbagey marshmallow. It just tastes like marshmallow. Mm -hmm. Like cheap marshmallow. The texture though. is cheap though. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I, like I mean, the flavor's not bad, but I'm not a big marshmallow fan. But the texture, yeah, it's, it's not there for me. And Minnie looks like she'd been laying in the tanning bed far too long. <laughs> With a turd in her mouth. <laughs>
<laughs> um, I don't know. I took a second bite of that. Felt like I needed more. I'm not loving it. I like it better than these. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I like definitely... marshmallow though. Mm, one, what are you rating them on hearts? Six. I rate her a two. Six point two. I rate her a two. Flat out two. I mean, I rate her better than the passion fruit taffy, but not by much. All the right. cookie's probably still my least favorite. Really? Yeah. All right. Cookie so far is still my favorite. Oh my. I got us a chocolate orange. This one's just a solid milk chocolate orange. Hmm. But, they have like raspberry and stuff. Yeah, but they didn't have any there. They just had the chocolate orange. I would have gotten us a fun flavor. We actually recently <clears throat> had a chocolate orange here at home. Not orange. Though. Not orange flavored. It was it actually two. We had coconut one, which was freaking delicious, and a mint one. The coconut one was milk chocolate and coconut, and the other, the mint one was dark chocolate and mint. And they're both really good. <clears throat> this one is just milk chocolate. Oh my. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to crack it? Yeah, but not on that side. Okay, buddy. You're supposed to break it? Okay. And then you're supposed to open it. And then voila. Would you like a slice of orange? No. I'll okay. take my own slice. It's gonna be the same. Mm -hmm. Tastes like cheap chocolate. I like it though. I mean, it's better than like the chocolate in the advent calendars. Mm -hmm. It's like Valentine's chocolate. Yeah. Like about the level of chocolate you get in a, like a box of heart, like a heart box of chocolates. Better than the cookies. Why are you hating on my cookies? You uh -huh. ate two of them when for the video and you're still hating on them? I like this. I would eat this. <laughs> That's my order. I mean, I will eat this. Actually, I might eat that before I eat this. Even though it's chocolate. What are you right now? Mm, just gonna rate everything a six. <laughs> mm, I'll I like it better than that. I'd say seven. I would go right at seven. Yeah. While well, we agree on something, a seven. Yeah, I'd rather eat that than the marshmallow, actually. Oh, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Definitely rather eat that than the marshmallow. And I like that because those are easy to share. Like you could take that to work or something and like share them with everybody. That's where I discovered these. Does it work? Karen brought them. Mm. Brought one that was raspberry or something. Back like in the day, they used to only be orange. Like, as far as I remember, they only had the orange, like, actual orange flavor. Is that pumpkin spice. Mm. We might season. have to try that in one of our fall videos if we can find one. But dish. Oh, more chocolate. This is a chocolate heart. Looks pretty. Right? I like that. Is that, the wrap? Is that a wrapper? Okay. Yeah. No, you eat that. Yeah, just a wrapper. So, I don't know. So, it's just a chocolate. I think it's chocolate. It's a Belgian milk chocolate pops. So just a Belgian, which makes me feel like it should be good chocolate, but I guess it's still just gonna be cheap chocolate. I don't know. I feel like I paid a dollar for this at Walmart. The paper's where they put all their dollars. The right. And it already broke. It is broken. I'll use a broken piece. Okay. So although it was broken, it smells nice. But it's just a nice chocolate heart, and it came in this fancy foil packaging. Ooh, it's solid. It's a solid heart of chocolate. Took a big bite. It's creamier. Mm, definitely. But I don't like the flavor as much. Mm. Honestly, the flavor is cheaper. I don't know. That to me is like the cheapest chocolate you can eat. Mm hmm. Like, that's like, buy no, the a $10. cheapest chocolate you can eat is like the flavor of the chocolate you can get in the advent calendars, and that's not. That's true, but I mean, like, when you buy a box of chocolate, that's what I expect, which is, yeah. to me, like, that's not real chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like but this But that is, tastes well, better than that. This kind of tastes like Russell Stover's mm. chocolate level, you know? Do you like it better than that? Mm. I don't know, I like them both. I'm, I'm not really I'm picky about my chocolate, to be honest. I'll definitely eat that over that. Really? Mm -hmm. I need them both. Uh, when it comes to chocolate, I'm not that picky. I'd rather eat the cookie, I think. Really? I would get rate, rate this a 7, too. I mean, honestly, if I had to... I would pick that over this just because there's more of that. 
Like if I was in the store and I was being strategic about what I was going to buy, I would pick the orange over this because there's more chocolate in that. But how much more expensive is it? Um, I don't remember. I feel like this was a dollar and that was like three or four dollars. But even still, three or four of these is not going to be probably as much chocolate as that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this, I could eat one sitting and that. It's still going to take me several sittings to eat, you know? Well. All right. Moving on. <clears throat> oh, another chocolate thing. Oh, God. Okay. Do you want me to find something that's not we chocolate? We should have split them up so that we get some palate cleansing in. Most of this is chocolate left in here. There's only one thing in here that's not chocolate. That's fine. We'll just do that. Okay. Oh god, the one thing that's not chocolate in there. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to. This I found at the Dollar General, actually. 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 This is a, I don't even know what the brand is, to be honest. Uh, Perilla? Sure, we'll go with that. It's a crunch wafer, but it's not, it's got hazelnut and wafer and chocolate. Oh no, I thought it sounded yummy. It's not really Valentine's related. But I bought it when I was shopping for Valentine's candy. And I was like, you know, I'll save it. I've never heard yeah, of it before. Than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'd never heard of it before, and so I thought I would save it for us. Well, I won! You won. <laughs> um, I like wafer, though. And so Nutella. I feel like it's going to have, like, Nutella or something, being that it's hazelnut. It's very Nutella-y. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that center. That is good. So it's got like two rows of, it's got like a row of wafer, a row of Nutella, a row of wafer, and then the whole thing is coated in. That's my favorite chocolate thing. By that actually is my favorite thing. Maybe. It kind of looks like a bottle cap on the outside. I don't remember. I think this was 50 cents at the Dollar General. See, I like wafer and I like Nutella. Mm -hmm. so that it's a really fluffy wafer, like almost fluffier than a Kit Kat. Yeah. No, when we broke it, it... Kind of like a Nutty Buddy wafer. Like those, the pieces, though. Even fluffier than that, though. Probably because it has more layers. Yeah, the Nutty Buddy does? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my favorite thing so far. That was yeah, I'd rate that like a nine, but I like Nutella. Like, I'm one of those people that use Nutella with a sp by a spoon, so... Hmm. That's why I don't buy Nutella. Craig used to make... Craig's my friend. Mm -hmm. Our friend, I guess. He used to make Nutella and fluff sandwiches, which is mm -hmm. peanut butter fluff. And that'd just be like a normal I thought you were talking about the marshmallow fluff. Oh, what'd I say? Peanut butter fluff? I meant marshmallow. Okay. <laughs> Nutella and marshmallow. And that'd yeah. be like a normal okay. lunch for yeah. him. Do you want to go with the non chocolate? Yeah, let's get the one you don't want to eat out of the way. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. This is. Chewable warheads. Oh, this sounds great. I knew he was gonna like this. I am not excited about this. Got these at the Dollar Tree. These are Chewy Cube warheads. Uh, don't like warheads. So here we go. Opener up, Maestro. Pucker up, Valentine. Made the pink one. Why the pink one? Because it was, there's only two of them. There's three, oh, there's three of them. Maybe I want a pink one. Do it. Is the pink one supposed to be the most sour one? Mm -mm. That's not sour. But that is good gummy. Right, one? The texture's good. Mm -hmm. Well, these are really good. That yeah. was like pink lemonade. Um, oh. The trolleys were more sour than these. And they weren't that sour, so. Well, get through the flavors first. I don't want to eat all the flavors. I'm scared. <laughs> Little sour. Red one. I feel like I'm not eating purple. I don't like grape. Grape's my favorite. Yeah. I want one green one. I don't know why, but in my mind, they correlate blue with sour. Yeah. I like blue raspberries. Oh, mm -hmm. the most sour in, um, what was it? What was that? Like a candy we ate as kids. I don't know. I know everybody always wanted the blue raspberry Jolly Ranchers. Mm-hmm. I always wanted the blue raspberry Otter Pop, too. Blue mm -hmm. raspberry and the pink Otter Pops were always the best. Yeah, these aren't sour that at all. a little sour. Which one? The blue one. Mm. Are they two different red colors? 
Like that almost looks darker than that red, don't it? Kind of look like they're two of them. Oh, that purple's not good. No. No. So they say there's orange, watermelon, blue raspberry, black cherry, strawberry, and green apple. Hmm. So there is two different red flavors: black cherry, strawberry, or so maybe watermelon. I think so. Yeah, I think so. So this one's black cherry. So yeah, either black cherry. So pink is either strawberry or watermelon, and then either one of the red ones is either strawberry or watermelon. I have watermelon is a pink one based I mean, off the color of their wording. I think the pink one was the best one. But none of them are sour. I was expecting them to be really bad. It wasn't that great. Pretty disappointing gummies. I'd rate them like a three. Better than the or marshmallow. Four. Better, Better than the trolleys. trolleys, yeah. I'd still say the wafer is my favorite. Yeah, the wafer was good. For me, the wafer and the cookie have been my favorite. Really? That's I like you, the cookie. That's because you cooked them and you have that, I cooked them so they taste better. And I just like cookies. Mm. Let's do these because I don't feel like this is going to be very good. Right. This is a Russell Stover's Marshmallow Heart. So it's literally just a marshmallow covered in chocolate, I believe. I'll probably like this. Yeah, and I'm not a big, like, big marshmallow fan. I got way more stuff than I thought I did. <laughs> but I had done it on several different shopping. Oh, it's a falling apart. She's like, crumpled my heart. Taking the first bite. She's sad. Didn't bite the broken part. Oh, I did. It looks slimy. It's a little bit gross. A little bit. Like the texture? Yeah, which Russell Stover's has kind of weird texture marshmallows. I like the taste though. Mm, I always think that I feel like, because they have these basically for every holiday, that it needs like a graham cracker or something to add a little mm. extra texture to that them. That would be good. Because our marshmallows are just so smushy They're that it slimy. needs, yeah, it needs something. I mean, you can look at it in the camera. Mm -hmm. Like, it's slimy. It needs something to break up that texture. The chocolate's so smushy and that marshmallow's smushy and slimy, it just needs something. So I was thinking a graham cracker would be good. But I do like it. I'd put it uh, probably behind the taffy. I put it like a three or a four. But the wafer is still really good. <laughs> I like Nutella. I like wafer. All right. This one I'm excited to try. This is a cinnamon toast crunch bar. Not Valentine's related either, but also we got the Dollar General. Uh, both this and that uh, Nutella thing were 50 cents. They were like two for a dollar or something, and it was mix and match. So I got both of these. So, I think they had this one, another cereal bar, but I wanted to try this one, so. I like cinnamon toast, cinnamon crunch toast Crunch. Is like, so, it's supposed to have, like, If you ask people know. what their favorite cereal is, a lot of people would say this. But it's I, I figured it's because they have so many commercials. I don't like this. No, I Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I go through, I don't eat cereal a lot, but Cinnamon Toast Crunch is one that I do, like, go through phases That tastes of like liking. a cinnamon roll. Yes, yes, it does. Very much like a cinnamon roll. I don't like cinnamon. I think that's what it is. Mm. My mom used to have like smelly things around our house and in our car. And it was always cinnamon. And it was cinnamon. It was cinnamon and cigarette smoke. I think maybe that's why I don't like mm. cinnamon. Don't it has know. a bad connotation in your mind, yeah. Mm. Like the after flavor is cinnamon toast crunch, but the front is actually cinnamon roll. And I never think while eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch that it tastes like cinnamon roll to me, so. The I mean, frosting, I like it, but I would give it a, like, a, I don't know, five, maybe. The frosting flavor comes through a lot. I wonder if that's because the bottom is, like, the frosting. Maybe. I don't know. Meh. If you like Cinnamon Toast Crunch and you like cinnamon rolls, I would recommend getting this. Like I yes. said, it was at the Dollar yeah. General in the checkout line. Like, that whole thing that separates the checkout line from the store. It was in that thing. They had other cereal flavors too, but I didn't get them. It was just this one. Are you dead? <laughs> I think you just died right there. <laughs> it felt good. Yeah. No, I mean, it's okay. It's, what do you rate it? Oh, um. I rate it like a six. I mean, it's still like a cereal bar. Yeah, but better than like some cereal bars or then. Better than a lot of granola bars and things, I feel like. But that's because it's so coated full of sugar. Yeah, it's just sugar, though. 
Like, if I'm going to eat a bar, I want it to be, like, because... Healthy-ish. I'm packing protein or something like that. So, I don't know. It Seems down. useless. All right, guys. He's another, what I'd call a weirdy. Because he's not a fan of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Him and Taylor, who's been on these... Yeah, but... A lot with me. Like Don't that. really care for peanut butter cups, but I got I got had to try the or get these because. Yeah, but you can't tell me the seasonal ones. The seasonal ones taste different than normal. Oh yeah, they hit way different because their ratio is different. And they I have like, way more peanut butter. And I like the seasonal ones usually. So I didn't get the white chocolate ones because I couldn't actually didn't see any of those. I don't like packages. the white. Oh, nice. I usually get one. Those are long hearts. <laughs> yeah, have you never seen the hearts? No, no. Oh. I usually get one of each, but I never even you know, heard we'll of share one if you want. Okay, I've never heard of the seasonal ones. I oh, just figured bite it and I'll bite. Okay, we're breaking it. I never heard of the seasonal ones before I met you. How are you that? Oh. No, but I grew up on Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and on the seasonal ones. Like I rate these a ten out of ten out of ten out of ten. Hmm, seven. I'm even surprised you gave it that. That's honestly my least favorite. Seasonal one I've had. I don't know. The we texture. did eat a lot of Christmas trees this last Chris holiday season. Yeah, maybe I'm just burnout. out. Burn out. And we've eaten a lot of junk food. That's true. A lot of sweets, and we were trying to be better, so we didn't eat a lot of sweets, and we were eating those trees. We had like one a night yeah, for a while. Yeah, it was like a so, dessert mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. It was like when we were desperate and we needed a sweet that night, that was what we this had. Thing, I just read this. There's three servings in that little bag. This bag is three servings. That just shows how much sugar is in those. And I'm starting to feel sugar overloaded and we still have like two or three things in the bag. <clears throat> yep, a nap is imminent. I only have two things left and we're gonna go with these because the last thing in there I'm really excited for. These are Hershey Kisses and they're in the flavor Lava Cake. Now I'm not really sure how these are gonna be that much different than a regular Hershey Kiss other than the inside is supposed to be gooey like a lava cake. They also had um, you know how Hershey's has the chocolate hearts? They also had ones that were called, uh, they were in the flavor like chocolate melt or something like that. It's the inside of the heart was supposed to be like melty or something. But I just got these. I'm like, what are they just making the same thing and just calling it a different flavor and like packaging it a little different? I don't know. But they also have a lava cake recipe on the back that so you can use these. Thank you. But then now they're just gonna pour out everywhere, and it's a bad Fun. time. I like I like the different flavors. You ruined ones. my lava cake recipe. You weren't gonna do it. No, I wasn't. But uh, I like they the have a cute little. Hershey's, I do too. They have a cute little packaging. It's brown with little hearts all over it. I also like that they always label their little strings what flavor they are. Well, that's how you can tell. Mm -hmm. Are these dark chocolate? They look dark chocolate. Tastes like normal though. The inside tastes like dark chocolate. Yeah. Well, now you ripped it where it's supposed to be flavor. Oh, dark chocolate with a gooey chocolate center. It is gooey on the inside. I mean, maybe it's because we've eaten all this other stuff. But that is. I don't like it. It's too dark chocolate for me, and I'm not. But a I like dark chocolate. I think my mouth is just too, mm -hmm. like, coated with other crap. Mm hmm I'm honestly I'd rate these like a three and I'm but I'm just not a big dark chocolate person and I'm just starting to hit that sugar overload where I just need something I need to stop and maybe have something these, salty. You start filming these in shifts. <laughs> right. We'll do a little bit every day. But I think this is our last item and I'm really <clears> excited <throat> for these. Because they're Kit Kats and their flavor I've never had. These are oh, called raspberries and cream. I think it's cool that Kit Kat, especially in other countries, always has different flavors. One of my co workers, she gets a subscription of like Asian snack foods and they always have Kit Kats in them. I got one in my hand, but thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, she always gets a, like Kit Kats and they're always in very different flavors, but they're good. Like you're like, mm, that sounds interesting, and then you try it and it's freaking delicious. So, raspberries and creme. These are in miniatures, so they're just one per baggie, and they're pink, which is pretty. The smell yummy. Oh, it's cracked. Your mine is too a little bit. They smell really good though. 
They're not as fluffy as the that Nutella wafer one. They smell better than they taste. But is that just because we've had so much probably sweetness in our mouth? I almost feel like I can't really taste. Hmm. I think I like it though. That's my favorite. Yeah? Out yeah. of everything, even over that Nutella? Yeah, because it's fruity and chocolate. Mm. That's good. Mm hmm I think I like the Witch's Brew Kit Kat from the fall better. The what? The Witch's Brew Kit Kat that we got. Oh, yeah. That one just they were marshmallow like flavor. Normal... They were marshmallow flavor, but it was just kind of like vanilla-y. I don't know why I'm eating another one after all <laughs> of the crap we've eaten, but that is my favorite. I like it though. It just it's, it's slightly broken. raspberry, a little bit chocolatey, just sweet, like a white chocolatey though. I like them. I rate these like a nine out of ten, which then would make these my highest rating, aside from the Reese's, which I can never count because I already know I'm gonna love them. You can count them. You know, just average with yours and mine. No, so which still makes this one our favorite. Right. It almost doesn't count because it's Kit Kat. <laughs> Yeah, but that's just Reese's in a right. different shape. And a plain this Reese's. is a completely mm -hmm. different thing. What was your favorite thing? These? The Kit Kat, yeah. Okay. What was your least favorite thing? Oh, I can't a lot remember. of bad things. <laughs> a lot of not so great things. We had a lot of low... Probably these. Really? Yeah, the trolleys. No, that thing. This heart? This chocolate heart? Yeah. It was Eat. just like flavorless... What was the brand name. It really didn't have a brand. It was just Belgian milk chocolate and the dollar thing at Walmart. The, the heart. Chocolate heart. Okay. I think my least... The marshmallow least, wasn't great. Yeah, the marshmallow wasn't good either. My favorite thing I'm going to have to go with you is the raspberry cream, raspberries and cream Kit Kats. I'm surprised you didn't save these cookies because you kept saying you hated the cookies so much. I hate them. My least favorite thing is probably have to be the passion fruit taffy oh, because true. I hated the flavor of that it was so gross. I wanted to spit it out, yeah, but that, I didn't. I, I went through. I and then mm, probably the marshmallow Mickey and Minnie's were really not very good either. But <clears throat> you liked the Russell Stevens one more than that. Russell Stovers. Oh, Stovers. <sighs> I like that it has chocolate on it. It's not that the flavor was bad. There's just something missing in the texture with the Russell Stovers. So, it's just not my favorite. I just, I don't know. I But, yeah, no. I, this is just straight marshmallow for me. So, I just, I can't. And now there's my hair. There's a, a hair. Hopefully, it's on it, not in it. I don't know. <laughs> you ate that. <laughs> I didn't eat the hair because it was still there. Uh, yeah, no, the Mickey and Minnie are just straight sugar-coated marshmallow. They but, smell good, they smell Disney delicious, brand, but... so they're better than something. Probably. No, it, it doesn't help. It does not help. I'd say that Passion Fruit and the Mickey and Minnie are probably the worst for me. No, I do not recommend buying those for your kids. <laughs> or yourself. Well... Or your sweetheart, or anybody. Don't. Don't get it. Kids like marshmallows, though. They do. Even if there's a turd in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just... It really does look like it a It looks turd. like a guinea pig turd. I don't understand. The coloring is so bad. Like, why not black? Like, their eyes. Right. And it's hard, too. It's not marshmallow. No, it's like icing. Yeah. I don't know. Disney done did something wrong there. Disney done did something wrong. <laughs> I also really don't like the Hershey Kisses, but that's because they're dark chocolate. Well, I feel like dark chocolate's hard to eat after you've eaten milk chocolate. Like a hundred different milk it's chocolates. true. We also didn't talk about this. You didn't talk about this being one of your favorites. Is that your second favorite? That wafer yeah. thing? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that was everything. It was quite a lot of stuff. I did not realize I bought so many things, but that is because I did several different trips. It was kind of like I was out with my mom at the Dollar General, and then I was out grocery shopping, and then we were at the Do Dollar Tree. So it was just like I was here and there and just several different shopping trips. So overall, we got a lot of stuff. We ate a lot of junk food. Uh, definitely some hits. Definitely some good, good treats. I am on sugar overload now. Thank you for coming and doing this with me. You're welcome. It was definitely a good time. <laughs> 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I found it.